You will recognize my next guest from her breakthrough role in the movie Clueless. She's had many other TV and music video roles. Maybe you've seen her as a political and social commentator. She's been on many, many shows. But you might not know that the harassment that she suffered in Hollywood is not solely because of conservative opinions that she holds. Please welcome my friend Stacy Dash. Stacy, so nice to have you here. This week, the spotlight of the world focused on Harvey Weinstein. When this story broke, you had a personal reaction to it. Why? Well, because he was notorious for this. You know, I, I dodged the bullet because when I was introduced to him, I was with a family member. And um, we were at a restaurant, and he held my hand a little too long, and that family member just said to him, not this one, she's off limits. Did people in Hollywood generally know about this? Was this a, a secret? Because some people acted like they're just shocked, shocked, and, and yeah. like... Uh... I don't believe that. I don't believe the shock and awe. You know, he was notorious for this. I just, you know, it's unfortunate for all of these women that this happened to. But this is part of Hollywood's culture. And when you're an actress and you're in Hollywood, part of you knows this is going to go on. I mean, I've lost jobs because I wouldn't give sexual favors. I've been fired. I've not gotten jobs. You know, the thing that is most troubling is that this is an exploitation of women, and it is an objectification of women, where they're treated not as a person, right. but as property to be right. used, abused, and then thrown away. This could be true if you want to be a victim. But I believe that if you go into a situation, for example, I was in the middle of nowhere, I was 25 years old, and I had the role, I was there on location, and the director asked me to come to his room because I didn't want to do nudity in the love scene. And so I did, I went to his room, and he answered the door inappropriately dressed, curtains were drawn, and expected me to get into the bed with him. When I said, no, I'm not doing it, I got fired. We're not just talking about Hollywood. We're, no. you know, one in three women in America are sexually harassed in their lifetime. That is shocking to me. Happens in every kind of profession. What should a woman do? Well, you should stand up for yourself and also consider what is sexual harassment. I mean, if we're, these days, if a man gives you a compliment, that's sexual harassment. I don't believe that. You know, it's, it's a compliment. The women who are really sexually harassed and inappropriately touched or, I mean, if I could have a dollar for every time a man gave me an, a creepy hug for too long, I would never have to work another day in my life. But here's the thing, I'm not willing to go through my past and play the blame game. You know, I feel like whatever has been drawn to me in my past, I might have attracted to me and that now I'm a different person. And so now men are going to approach me in a different way. But that's my responsibility. And by the grace of God, I've been given this understanding. What is most important in your life right now? What, what is it that Stacey Dash wakes up every day and says, this is important to me? Well, waking up every morning and asking God, what is your purpose for my life? Hmm. What do you want me to do? Please show me and give me the grace to do it. Is that a new wake-up call for you? Absolutely. That's not where you were 10, 20, 30 years ago? No, it was not. Uh, you know, before I was in a place where, I, yes, I believed in God, but it was my will run riot. Mm. I was not willing to give my life and my will over to the care of God. Mm -hmm. And that's what's changed. Well, I'm glad it has, and I'm so grateful that you came to talk about, I know a very difficult and sensitive subject, but everybody in the world is talking about this, and, and what I hope people do is recognize that it, it's unacceptable. And we should, as a culture, just simply say, uh, nobody has a right to exploit another person. Nobody has a right to objectify them. And we should respect people. Right. Because if we don't, then our whole civilization crumbles. Right. And stand. If you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. You know, and trust that you're standing up for your belief will be rewarded. Well, Stacy, I'm grateful mm -hmm. to have you here tonight. Thank you. And I you. want to say be sure to follow Stacy on social media. She's always interesting, insightful, and very entertaining. And I'm so grateful that you're here. Thank you Thank very you. much for coming. Stacy Dash. <laughs>